everyone, my name is Katie and I'm here for Rogers Environmental Education Center in Sherburne, New York. Today's craft is we are going to be doing recycled notebooks. And this is something we typically do at our summer camp as well. You only need a few things. You'll need a recycled piece of cardboard. In this case, I have Kodak cakes. You can use a cereal box, cracker box, really anything like that. Some paper, this could be notebook paper or in this case, I have computer paper, scissors, some yarn or string, and a hole punch. So the first thing you guys will need to do is take your cereal box and cut it to size. So you'll need a front and a back, and you can either keep your original logo on it and keep that out towards the back and the front, or you can flip them over and you can decorate them yourselves. Next, you'll take your paper that you have, this is just standard computer paper, and fold it directly in half. So you'll have a little book. I have to use about five to 10 pages because you are going to have to punch through it with the hole punch, and that's a lot of paper to go through. Folded. Once you got your folded paper, you can take your front cover and your back cover and line them up with the paper. Don't be alarmed if your paper sticks out a little bit like mine, you just had a slightly smaller box like I did. If you have a cereal box, you can trim down the cereal to the size of your paper. Next, what you'll want to do is take your hole punch and punch probably two holes, one towards the bottom and one towards the top. because I'm doing these singly because I'm weak and this is a really weird hole punch. Showing the holes. Now that you have punched in your holes into your journal, you will take your piece of string or yarn and cut to length for the amount of holes you have poked. I had two, so I'm going to cut two pieces of string. And use them to tie up my journal. And now that you have completed your journal, you have it all tied together, you can trim it out a little bit. So I trimmed off the very top of my paper so it fits within my journal a little bit better. You can use this journal for really whatever you want to do. You can use it for nature journaling, keeping track of what you see, poems, drawing, really whatever you want to do. It is your journal and you made it yourself and you can do whatever you want with it. So now I would like to thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you soon at our next craft.